Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel, J Rock Yoga. My name is Jess and I post weekly yoga videos, wellness videos. Um, you can subscribe if you like them with the red box below. You'll get notified when I post one. In this video today, I'm gonna be taking you through five tips that will help you balance. So if you're someone who struggles with poses like dancer or warrior three or tree pose, or just in general um, life balancing, this video will help you. So if you wanna learn how to balance better, just keep watching. Let's get started. So when people think of balance, they automatically think, oh, I have to be really strong in the core or the legs, or, oh, you're just like a dancer or you're extra flexible and that's why you can balance in these positions. But what I've come to find out is balance is actually really broken down into simple, actionable steps that you can not only use in your yoga practice to improve your balance, but you can really use in life. So the first tip is, are you breathing? This is, the biggest, most important tip in all of yoga, when we hold our breath, we block the energy from moving and we can put our central nervous system into kind of a fight or flight situation. So when we start to balance, especially in the more um, strong postures like warrior three or uh, natarajasana, dancer, where we're on one leg and the other leg's back behind us, we tend to hold our breath because we think if we hold our breath, then we're not gonna move and we're gonna be very, very still. But then our body is like, wait, I need breath, I can't focus. So the very, very first step is to make sure we have a calm and rhythmic breath before we even lift one leg off the ground, before we even lift one toe off the ground. We wanna check in, are we breathing in? And are we breathing out? And do that a few times so that we can really stay with that rhythm once we move into our balancing pose. We wanna use our breath as kind of a barometer. If we can breathe nice and steady in our balancing postures, we know we're really ready to be there. If we're holding our breath and we're constricting, we may need to do a little bit more work or modify. So just let's make sure that our breath is flowing. That's tip number one. Tip number two is where are you looking? This is a great, great tip because oftentimes in balancing, especially in vinyasa class, if you're in a room with a bunch of people, you'll be looking at a moving target or you'll be watching the teacher or you'll be watching the person in front of you. Um, or if you're practicing at home, your gaze might be darting around because you're trying to um, find that balance with where you're looking. So the second most important thing is to pick one spot and look at this spot the entire time you're balancing. So say I'm on my deck here, or um, I have my yoga blocks. I would choose to pick, there's a screw right here in the deck. I would choose to take my gaze and focus it on this screw or on this block, and it's locked on. When the gaze is locked on, we can't get distracted by anything that's going on around us. And oftentimes you think like, if you see something in your peripheral vision, you'll jump or you'll get startled. So that's the same thing with our yoga practice. We wanna lock our gaze on one thing so that it doesn't throw off our equilibrium. The third balancing tip is find your foundation. So once we're breathing, once we know what we're looking at, we have to identify what the foundation is in this balancing pose. So for example, if we're doing a bird dog variation and we're on our hands and knees lifting like so, our foundation would be the right knee and shin and the left hand, right? So if we're gonna do some standing balance, the foundation is our feet. Our foundation is whatever is touching the ground. It's very important to identify our foundation because such like houses and anything that's being built, if the foundation is shaky or we're not paying attention to it, it can really crumble and fall. So you really wanna identify the foundation and then you wanna think about your foundation spreading wide like honey on the mat. So say we've identified our foundation as our hands. You don't just wanna have your hands on the mat and all crumpled and not intentional. We wanna have our hands pressing down we want to have our hands spreading wide and we want to feel rooted. So if your hands are on the mat, you're going to think about your first and thumb knuckle really pressing down and the fingers spreading wide. If your feet are on the mat, you always want to spread the toes because that activates your nice little stabilization muscles in the feet and the ankles. And then you want to press down through all four corners, which is the right ball mound, the left ball mound and the full heel. So once we identify our foundation, we really press down through it. 
The fourth tip is to draw the foundation that we've just recently found in and up. So once we've identified our foundation and we've spread the fingers, spread the toes, rooted down, we want to take that rooting sensation and pull it upward into the rest of our body. So if you look at this in the example that I just showed you, bird dog, right? So we're going to have our foundation here and we've spread our fingers nice and wide. We're rooting down, but then we want to press down to lift up and out, right? We want to think we're pressing down to lift up and away. Same thing with this knee. We're pressing down to lift up and out of the hip. So the reason that we have a foundation is not so that we can sink here and hang out. It's so that we could press down and lift that sensation of strong stability up into the rest of our body. So once we've found our foundation, whether it be feet, hands, or your back, whatever's touching the ground is your foundation. We want to really think about spreading, pressing, and lifting that foundation up into the other muscles in the body. The final tip I have for you is once you've identified your foundation and once you're pulling that foundation up and away, you want to activate the limbs and the fingertips and the toes. So now you've got that foundation pressing down to pull up, but we want to extend that foundational feeling almost like it's coming out of the body. So we'll take that bird dog example. We'll root down, gaze and breath are steady, and then we'll lift our back leg and our right hand. Now, we can root down strongly and pull that foundation into us, but if our fingertips and our toes are flopping like a noodle, we're not getting the full expression of the pose. If we spread the fingers and we reach and we spread the toes and we kick and we extend away from the center line while pressing the foundation away and pulling it up, we have a total body activation here. So that's kind of the final sprinkle on the cake. Once you have your gaze, your breath, your foundation, and your foundation is pulling up, Send that energy outward. Spread the fingers, spread the toes, and you'll feel all the little muscles engage, not only to help you balance, but to strengthen. Okay, let's try it. So come to your hands and knees. We're gonna stack our shoulders above our wrists, and we'll stack our hips right above the knees. Pull the belly in. Step one, let's take a couple steady breaths. So take a nice inhale through the nose, Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. So now you continue your breath as I speak. Pick a spot to gaze in, just gently forward so our neck is long. As your breath continues, laser in on that space. Really laser in on where you're looking. Now we're going to ground and find the foundation. So spread the fingers wide, root down through the first and thumb knuckle, and then root down from, root down into your knees, shins, tops of feet. Good. Make sure that your breath is still going and your gaze is still locked. Now press down through the left hand and feel the foundation as you press down, lift into your arm and into your shoulder so the left shoulder gets more stable. Now press into the right knee, feel your right hip lifting. And when you feel steady, reach your right arm forward and your left leg back. Now good, check in, did you stop breathing? Bring the breath back. Check in, are you looking at one steady spot? Good, now let's root down into both areas that are touching the ground to lift up. And the last step, reach right hand forward, reach left foot back, spread the fingers and toes. Let's take a few breaths. Good, and release everything down. Great work, we're gonna try the other side. So, we're gonna go ahead and take a breath in and a breath out. Good, pick your gaze, laser sharp gaze, set it, and then press down, spread the fingers wide, and root down into the right hand and the left knee. When you feel steady, left hand, right leg back. Now check in, are you breathing? Did your gaze shift? Let's keep it nice and steady. Pull the foundation up the right arm by pressing the right hand down, and then spread the toes on the right foot, spread the fingers on the left hand, and let's take a few breaths. Good, release it down. Okay, we're ready to try our standing balance poses. 
So first, let's start by taking a couple deep breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now you continue those inhales and exhales as I speak. While you're breathing, let's pick a steady spot about six, six feet in front of you or so to focus your gaze on. I have a nice line in the deck here that I'm going to focus on. Continue that breath and keep your gaze steady. Now we're going to identify the foundation of the right foot. So let's spread the right toes and press the right foot down. And once we feel that foundation, we start to pull the right kneecap up and we start to pull the right hip up into the socket. Once that's there, we can start to slowly lift the left foot off the ground and it can even come to a hover, right? We keep our gaze steady, we keep our breath going, and we're pressing down so much into our right leg that the left foot can lift because our foundation is pulling in and up. And now we can either choose to take a kickstand, placing the left toes on the ground. We can choose to bring the foot to calf or foot up into our inner thigh. Gaze doesn't change, breath stays steady, and then we're gonna pull our right hip in and press down and away to lift up. Let's take a couple breaths here. Good, so now we'll slowly come on out. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope these five tips really help you to improve your balance in life and in your yoga practice. If you like this video, I post a new video, yoga and wellness, every single week right here on YouTube. You can subscribe below if you want to get notified when my new videos come up. If you'd like to follow me on social media, my Instagram and TikTok handle is at jrockyoga, and my website is jrockyoga.com for recipes, blog posts, you can uh, rent longer flows, all the good stuff is right there. So thank you so much for practicing with me and I'll see you next week. Thank you.